All right, all right, all right. What up, YouTube? What up, everybody? It's Celts Chronicles once again. Sometimes I like to just make these spur of the minute uh, videos. And just coming at y'all, the one of the last ones I made like this was on uh, Chase Young. And one thing I do want to say about the Chase Young thing, man, I don't make these videos to hate on no one or create controversy or anything like that. But, hey, it's as simple as Chase Young. Give effort. Step your game up. I got faith. I got belief that you will. And that's it for that. But I also want to talk about the game. There's so much talk about the Brock hate and the Brock not hate. And there's believers of Brock and 90% of people who know football, they see what Brock really is. And there's just a few talking heads that want clicks and want to hate on him. He's the hottest topic right now in sports when it comes to talking about it. And I get all that. And everybody knows where I stand on all that. You could go watch some of my past videos when it comes to Brock Purdy. But, hey, man, let's talk about the actual game. You know, let's talk about you know, more than that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people are always going to talk. People are always going to hate. It's just the way the world is, man. It's, a, uh, you know, it's always going to be there. It always has been there, but I just can't wait. I just can't freaking wait. We are seeing a lesser defense from the Kansas city chiefs, or we are seeing a lesser offense from the Kansas city chiefs in years past. We are also seeing a better defense that the Kansas City Chiefs present. You could say that the roles have been reversed. The Chiefs seem more like the 49ers a couple years ago, and the 49ers seem a little bit more like the Chiefs a few years ago. Our defense has taken a step back, but I need y'all to remember, yeah, the defense hasn't put their best, uh, the 49ers defense hasn't put their best foot forward in these playoffs, but they still got Kavarius Ward. Charvarius Ward, Mooney Ward, my bad, Mooney. They still got Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, Nick Bosa, Hargraves, Armstead, Jair Brown, Tayshawn Gibson. I don't care. You could pick apart, you could pick pieces apart on stuff they didn't do well, or Chase Young didn't hustle, or Gibbs gassed us, and Montgomery gassed us, and Aaron Jones gassed us. That doesn't matter for this game. Every single game has its own story. Every single game brings its own element. Am I aware that we are struggling on some of those things? Absolutely. Um, am I aware that Isaiah Pacheco is a really aggressive runner? Absolutely. He had big moments last year in the Super Bowl. I, I kind of that's when I, I became a fan of Isaiah Pacheco. Isaiah Pacheco. He's a lot like Brock Purdy. He was picked, I think, 250-something. So he was also in the seventh round in the same draft as Brock Purdy. So Pacheco, he's a dog. He's going to bring it. They still got Andy Reid, which right now he is ahead of Kyle Shanahan. They still got Patrick Mahomes, best quarterback in the universe. I'm not taking any of that lightly. Rasheed Rice, up-and-coming uh, young wide receiver, I think we match up beautifully against the Chiefs. I just truly do. Um, I can see it being a high-scoring game. I really could. And I could see the 49ers playing a lot better defense. I could see Patrick Mahomes making some mistakes. I could see us taking advantage of that. Like, however it comes. It's going to be indoors, Las Vegas. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful atmosphere. We already know that Brock Purdy is not going to get rattled. And we'll see. I just hope the San Francisco 49ers start off fast. I hope they are just efficient on offense. Don't got to do too much at some moments. You might have to be a playmaker, Brock, and you have proven that you can do that with your legs, with your elusiveness, with the arm on the run, arm in the pocket. You have shown time and time again you could take a hit. There is Chris Jones. We gotta, you know, we gotta be aware of their strengths. They got Karloffis. Amenahu is unfortunately out, but they do got Karloffis. They do got uh, Chris Jones. They got Bolton and Reed and Sneed and McDuffie. They they got some guys over there, and they've been playing 
great. I just think on the flip side, we got Kittle, we got Debo, we got AU, we got Trent Williams, we got Juice Check, we got CMC, we got Brock Purdy. So it is going to be an incredible matchup. And then you got two of the best coaches in the NFL. You know, we've been the four out of the last five NFC championship games. I believe the Chiefs have been four of the last five Super Bowls. So the two best teams are here. Break it down. You could talk about the regular season or the 49ers run defense or whatever else. The two best teams are here. Um... It's got the little feeling of David versus Goliath with Brock Purdy and Patrick Mahomes. But could you imagine? I've already put this out there. I've said it days ago. Brock Purdy can have the Steph Curry effect. Could you imagine if little old Brock Purdy wins the almighty Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl? It's going to give kids across the world a belief and a faith, man, that they too don't have to be the biggest, fastest, or strongest. If they have faith and put in hard work, they could get it done. I think the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl, y'all. We've had the door slammed in our face quite a few times. The time is now. <clears throat> I got full confidence. Brock Purdy, Shanahan getting over the hump in certain areas, comeback wins, all those things. The momentum feels unbreakable. Even though I have said during the year that the 49ers felt like front runners. When that little twig gets in the spoke of the tire, it feels like they go flying over the handlebars. But I don't feel that way right now. They've proved the last two weeks in the hardest environments. I don't care about the opponents, whether it was Green Bay or the Lions. <clears throat> you could switch out those opponents for the Dallas Cowboys, the Eagles. The 49ers have beat every single team in the NFC playoffs this year. So the, the opponent is almost irrelevant. The point I'm making is we have come back both games, divisional championship game at home in the rain, in good weather. It's the momentum. It's the belief. It's the faith. It's the brotherhood. We're coming. We're a team on a mission. Kansas City has been there and done that. And they have the right to be cocky. But you go listen to Mahomes. You go listen to Kelsey. And they're kind of like, yeah, right. Watch this. We're coming through. You know, the 49ers are kind of like, ooh, this is our year. Man, we're coming through. So it's. I feel like there's a little bit more seriousness with the 49ers team, but the seriousness doesn't equal tightness. Like back in the day when we had Jimmy Garoppolo, it was more hopeful. It was like, oh, my God, this is a lucky, hopeful beautiful year it's our year but this year it's like oh no we're hungry we're humble we're a machine on a mission we're gonna take six y'all it's happening the x's and o's who knows exactly how it's gonna play out there's 22 missing moving pieces the coaches are making hundreds of decisions playing chess trying to figure it out but it's going to go down February 11th, three days before my birthday. So hopefully I get an early birthday gift. It's been, what, 29, 30 years. We're coming through. Keep full faith because that's what the 49ers do. Stay up, stay blessed. Yee!